Hi everybody, Frankie here from Vibrant Center for Voice and Movement. And today I'm going to focus in on the tongue. Now, of course, our muscles don't work in isolation. So talking about the tongue is kind of a, a false um, specificity that I'm choosing today. But of course, the tongue, the jaw, the palate, the lips, all of these muscles work together in allowing us to be able to make sounds that become words and thoughts and the ability to communicate to other people. So the tongue is a really interesting muscle in that not only is it used for speech, but it's also like a deep ab. <laughs> it's a postural muscle. Often, if you notice while you're doing something, moving, walking around, you'll actually feel the tongue the front of the tongue is in contact with your gum ridge and that helps you to have stability. Of course, it's also really important to be able to reset and release and relax the tongue and that's what we're gonna be focusing on today. Also, at times of stress, the uh, sympathetic nervous system can result in the tongue getting really tight and retracting into the back and sort of humping into the back of the mouth or just pulling back in the throat. So being able to release the tongue, especially at times of stress, can be really useful. And the, I've actually done these exercises before going into an athletic race and I found it extremely helpful in how it helps to then communicate with my nervous system. It helps me to regulate my breathing and it also just helps me to give up some tension that's taking energy and taking focus and may actually be a little bit of discomfort in my body and being able to release that so then my body is focused on the muscles that I do need to recruit for my uh, performance. And um, I'm also um, allowing my uh, body to be able to get more oxygen into my lungs because I don't have a big tongue humped into the back of my throat. <sighs> so to start off with, just take a moment to notice your tongue now. Don't try to change anything. Just notice where it sits in your mouth. Notice, so the tongue is comprised of, of a number of muscles and just notice whether those muscles feel at this moment like they are tense or tender or fatigued or relaxed. And what are the sensations that give you that information? So if my tongue feels fatigued, how do I know that my tongue is fatigued based on the sensations I'm aware of. And can I get really specific about where on my tongue I feel those sensations? Not just the front, the middle, the back, but even um, in the body of the tongue itself on the floor of the tongue or on the top of the tongue. And now just take a moment to orient yourself to this present moment and this environment. What do you see as you look around you? <sighs> and if you have a yawn, excellent. Or if you want to make a small adjustment with your body, then do that as we work in this way. And now just let your jaw hang. So let there be some space in your molars. 
And as you do this, let your tongue drop to the floor of your mouth. Just find something in this room that is neutral. It might be a color or a shape or a texture. It might be associated with light or shadows falling on an object. And just find that neutral for yourself. Let's start out with bringing your fingers to the spot at the back of your head where your head and your neck meet on either side of your spine. So you can reach behind you, find your spine, right where the head and the neck meet, and then walk your fingers out away from each other and give yourself a little massage there. Keep letting your jaw hang, keep letting your tongue go. And find a particularly juicy spot and hold your fingers there for five seconds and breathe. Let your hands come down and just notice whatever is present in your body in this moment. And now bring your fingers to that soft place just behind your earlobe. So if you find your earlobes and then you move just in behind them, you'll find a little soft place and give a gentle massage there. Breathe, allow some space between your molars. Let your tongue continue to rest at the floor of your mouth. And just hold there gently for five seconds. And let that go. And just notice whatever sensations are present in your body. And now bring your fingers to just below your earlobe to that little place on the jaw ridge. So just underneath there, give a little massage. Perhaps there's a little um, sound that you can release on an exhale. Huh. 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 And 
hold for five seconds. Stay connected with your breath here. And let that go and notice whatever is present in your body in this moment. And now bring your thumbs to the underside, just behind your chin. So you can feel, like I'm talking, you can feel that your tongue, the floor of your tongue or the underside of your tongue is right there. You might notice some tension, some tender places, and you can explore right just inside the jawbone all along here, as well as in the middle. Keep letting there be some space between your molars and keep reminding yourself to drop your tongue. And then let your hands come down and just notice whatever there is to notice now. You're not necessarily looking to eradicate something. We can get very focused on an end result if we go, this specific place in my tongue feels tight and I'm not going to be satisfied until that is completely gone, right? Instead, go through the process Sometimes without staring directly at a thing, that thing is allowed to ease. <laughs> Get curious about what going through this process is going to feel like in your body and what you are aware of now. Find a, a little exhale on sound. How is that sound reflective of whatever you're feeling in this moment? And now, just for fun, I'm going to pick the beginning of Sesame Street. So that's sunny days sweeping the clouds away. Doesn't really matter how you sing the tune, but just to give us a project, I want you to drop your uh, chin to your chest and let your tongue hang out of your mouth between your teeth. You're not pushing it. Actually, let's start there. Push it. And let that go and now just let gravity act on the tongue so the tongue's just hanging out of the mouth as you bring your chin to your chest and breathe here And keeping the tongue out, I now want you to sing the opening line of Sesame Street with your tongue out of your mouth. And let's do that again. 
let go of any idea of perfection. It really doesn't matter how you sound. And if you prefer to sing happy birthday or the first line of anything, you can do that here. Now, use a fist on your forehead and use that fist to lift up your head with your tongue still hanging out of your mouth. And sing with the fist. Perfect. Now some people notice that their tongue wants to go right back into their mouth. So keep seeing how much you can let it just hang there like a passive heavy weight. Let's do that one more time. And then just let the tongue drop into the mouth and we'll sing again. Sunny days sweeping the clouds away. Lovely. And of course you can do this with text. So let's briefly go through those three steps, just speaking the lines of that song. Drop your chin to your chest, tongue out, and speak. Sunny day sweeping the clouds away. Take a fist under the forehead and use that fist to raise your head up, keeping the tongue out. And speak. Sunny day is keeping the clouds away. Drop the, the, drop the tongue back into the mouth. Sunny days sweeping the clouds away. Lovely. So that is a mini lesson, just focusing in on the tongue. And of course the tongue is not a muscle that we typically go in there and directly manipulate, but by using pressure points that are connected to the tongue, by using the passive weight of gravity, to uh, drop the tongue forward so it's not bunched up at the roof of uh, at the back of the mouth and then lastly even using images so visualize your tongue as a big wide slug just passively lying on the floor of your mouth. What does that feel like if you work with that image? And maybe that image doesn't work for you. So you can come up with your own Another image might be your tongue is a scoop of ice cream on the sidewalk on a hot, hot day and it's slowly melting into the pavement. And connect that image with breath and sound. So allow your sound to come out on an H. Any vowel, any anything is fine, but let it start with an H. Huh. Really feel, is there some heat to your breath? Really feel that. Huh. And the other thing is that as we release one specific muscle, you might actually feel other muscles then starting to feel tense. Now your awareness is being directed to something new that needs releasing. Or Mu uh, muscle tension in the tongue might ha uh, then um, require something else to start acting a little bit more as you release the tongue. 
So that's really interesting information. So for example, now that my tongue feels a little relaxed, I'm actually acutely aware of some tension on the left side of my jaw right here. And so that's something that uh, is interesting to focus on and play with another time. So for now, keep releasing your tongue, keep showing your tongue some love, and I will see you all again soon. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Bye.